Welcome to Aldara, the interactive choose-your-own-adventure story. You play Aldric, a man with a forgotten past, as he battles enemies, navigates strife, and uncovers hidden truths. You hold the power to vote on his choices and shape his destiny. Get ready for an exciting journey where you decide the outcome. Yesterday, you voted to go after the Count and demand to be sworn to his service right now. So let's dive into this episode of Aldara. You turn and walk briskly after the Count. Lord! You call out clearly over the noise. The Count halts his horse and turns it on the spot, staring down at you before saying, Aldric, there is no time if what you say is true. I want to be sworn to you now. You interrupt him with conviction. The Count sits on his horse, unmoving. Features unreadable. You decide to press on. If what you said back at the camp is true, you owe me this. My liege lord is dead, and I want to fight. Make it my atonement to destroy Krixor if you wish, but I will not stop until I avenge those destroyed by him. You can see in the Count's face that he understands by him you also meant yourself. He stares at you for a long moment. Cole walks up behind you, pauses for a moment, then steps forward. Lord! If you would do this, I would watch over him and ensure that he has truly come back to us. At this moment, Jerome's eyes return to normal, and he rides next to the Count Avond, saying, It is done. He hesitates for a moment, then adds, I could perform some tests in my tower when we return to Valerian. I could potentially confirm if Aldric is indeed free of the dark magic, and if he is not, I may be able to reverse the effects. Count Yvonne looks between you all, one at a time, nods firmly, and states, Aldric, you are a brave and bold man. You did indeed save my life, and for that my family and I will always be grateful. Your actions to war recently, though not of your own will, have tarnished your honor, however. If what Jerome says is possible, and it can be determined that you are free of Crixor's influence, I will indeed take you into my service. And you will be tasked with working to eliminate Crixor. He pauses for a moment and then gives off a good-natured roguish smile. Under Captain Cordula's command. Cole, next to you, takes a step back. Lord? His, he says, shock evident in his tone. You have served me for a short time, Cole. A very short time. But in that short time, you've proven evident your skills as a leader. Though your master does not remember, we haven't spoken at length about you since he took you as his squire. At first, I, among others, did not believe it to be the right choice, but after seeing how you handled yourself in the battle, and this recent scouting mission, and the other tasks I've assigned you, I can see why Aldric chose you. He pauses again for a moment, chuckles softly. <laughs> for one with no memory, he is quite wise. The men that served under you in the recent mission will now be under your command, as well as Aldric, pending his tests. I leave you to choose your second. Continue to serve me well, Captain Cordula, and perhaps I shall even grant you some land. The Count looks down and adds bitterly, as a lot of my county now find itself with open fifes. You look between the Count and the newly appointed Captain. You can't help but feel a sense of overwhelming pride and also a begrudging annoyance at being reduced to serve under your former squire. However, the shame of the damage you caused also weighs heavily over you. Cole looks back at you. You can feel a sense of guilt, but also elation in his eyes. Do you swallow your annoyance and bow to him, respectfully acknowledging his promotion? Give in to the feeling of annoyance and fix your eyes on the Count in disbelief? Or remain guarded for now? deciding later how to react to this turn of events. Vote to decide Aldrich's destiny at nathanfoss.com slash Aldara.